Those structures, are they still everywhere? Yep, wherever I look, there's metal. I know, I know. You're welcome, Bully. Hello, and welcome back to the Invincible. It's a bit like Pando. Colony of populous tremoloids. American aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest? Huh, that does sound bizarre. So maybe. Doctor, something has been recorded after all. <laughs> But there are plenty of errors in the transmission header. It's hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Well then, sir, play it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the Doctor. Let's hope so. Gorski to base! See the relay up close. Looks broken. Such damage could be caused by a local meteorological phenomenon. A severe thunderstorm, lethal, and electrometeors. So the weather is to blame for all of it? Well, I can't think of a better explanation at the moment. Maybe let's go back to the recording. Swarm of tangled cables. Not a trace of electric current, polarity, not even residual magnetism. I've gone over everything in that area. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. You know, to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Myrans, a race of extinct sentient beings. Suddenly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. There are more traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard me right. As if he fell and then crawled on all fours. Bloodstains? No. Luckily, nothing like that. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. I found something. Again. I suspect Gorski might have damaged his suit. If the tear doesn't exceed 20 millimeters, the reactive polymer layers will self-seal. That's true. Nevertheless, it looks worse and worse. I found more of his gear. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. Ah! Ouch! Yes, now, what is it? I took a shortcut. On purpose? Uh, not really. Well, that's it. What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? Oh, so far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then 
But who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. <sighs> as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well, I think there might be something to it. By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in his discovery, in spite of everything. Finally! I have his position. Uh, not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still not? Yeah. I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's lying in a sinkhole. Doctor, answer me, please. Closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski, come on. Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The book will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with the astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Yasna. If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. The membrane looks intact. What did you tell me? I didn't hear. Hold on, Gorski. You are still unbeaten, Doctor. Please repeat. Don't be angry, sir. But. But what? Please do it. After. After careful consideration, I gave Gorski my tank. We still don't know when you'll send the lander, so. I I can't leave him without oxygen. Doctor, I explicitly told you not to. <sighs> Let's hope Artie can finish the job if you're both unconscious. Of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal. <laughs> they 
Judy's pulse, heart rate, saturation, almost within the range. Uh, what was that? I don't know. Everything is shaking. Astrocator, I, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. <coughs> Of water, probably unsafe. Oh, shit. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters. No, too deep. <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Let's stay out of the water. Who's that? 
I, I can't see. Crowther. Is that you? But how? Y you were supposed to... Doctor? Why won't you answer me? Good to see you again, Yasna. Unfortunately, there is no time for pleasantries. We need to get out of here now. How are we supposed to do that? You're way up. Look to your left. Should be easier from there. I'll keep an eye on you from above. You won't lose me if we stay in contact. And hopefully... Both of us will make it to the surface. I'm not going anywhere until you explain how you found me. Then I guess you'll die, because I refuse to waste time on explanations. Your choice, Yasna. Mine. Arsehole. At least he's still there. be afraid of dehydration hypoxia methane poisoning the list is quite long oh, what were you thinking really i warned you against opening your helmets let alone giving all your oxygen to a dead man a complete failure of reason in the act of futile heroism gorski isn't dead that's why i left him my damn tank yeah, might as well be do you really think giving him oxygen was enough? Something attacked you up there. Odds are, it got Gorski as well. We'll check and come back for him. Novik should be monitoring his parameters after all. Yeah, about that. You shouldn't trust everything the old man says. He only tells us what he sees fit. Huh? What do you mean? Doesn't matter now. Let's focus on getting out of this maze. Is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? I think so. Flares are wet, though. What equipment do you have on you? Procedural minimum or more? The telemeter, tracer, a metal detector. Uh, slow down. I need to rest. Uh. Rest is for the dead. <laughs> I've had enough. Just enough. Forward, Yasna. Faster, Yasna. We're racing against time, Yasna. We're constantly fighting for life, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I don't want to fight anymore. I, I don't want to fight. All right, yes, I have it your way. What? A moment ago, you were forcing me to struggle on. But now you'll let me die. Just like that. Uh, not 
Just like that, he did everything he could. But even that wasn't enough. You have the right to finally give up. No. No, not over. I haven't given up yet. Can you walk? Yeah. Probably. I just need to catch my breath. Hmm. On second thought, I imagine there are worse places to die. It's rather peaceful, actually. Just close your eyes and let yourself go. Fall asleep. Okay. The suffering. I'm getting up. Turns out I prefer to live than let you talk me to death. happened as a result of a close supernova. Organisms in the depths of the oceans would have a chance of survival. Gorski even mentioned that Lyrazita was a nova. Yeah, but we ruled that out, remember? After such an incident, traces of radiation would be detectable to this day. Meanwhile, ground activity is extremely low for this area of the galaxy. Anyway, do you honestly believe that evolution would not continue to advance after all those millions of years? Well, there will be no vertebrates, but primitive coastal forms, <sighs> definitely. Exactly. Yet someone or something is preventing them from moving ashore. <sighs> Even more skeletons. <sighs> Annoyingly now, there are no comms. Nobody will know of this discovery if we get stuck here. Relax. The old man will send another expedition. And they will find those bones, along with us. Thanks. For a moment there, I forgot how screwed I was. Good that you reminded me. Maybe your situation would be better if you didn't stop to admire the fossils. Now you sound like Novik. <laughs> Too shame. You know a lot, Crowder. ...about what happened to me. Crowter? Yeah? Are you really here with me? Of course. We all are. You have distinct memory traces of us. You know, in your brain. That's not what I'm asking about. I know, but there's no definitive answer. We can only hope that you won't forget us when it's all over. So little, yet so much. I don't want to forget, Crowther. I, I really don't. Come. It's time to be among other people again. They are there, somewhere. I promise. I'm starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall? It doesn't matter, now. 